Good afternoon. Good evening. Good afternoon, Bang. Praise God for this uh, wonderful occasion. And uh, I think this is the first time to uh, serve the uh, Christian uh, Reformation celebration. Last year, we uh, I, I was uh, able to review the life of Martin Luther. And uh, that was the first time that uh, I took the initiative to uh, have the observation of the Christian reform last year and I preached about the life of Martin Luther and the, uh, of course, the important uh, tenets of uh, the Reformation. And uh, after that, I talked to Pastor John and I shared to him about, and he shared about this particular occasion and plan. So uh, now, napasubo ako sa sining occasion on the life of uh, John, Ho John Haas. And uh, well, uh, it's uh, the first time because we came from a Baptist uh, you know, denomination. We came from a tradition where we usually think of uh, only of the gospel and uh, think only of uh, some few doctrines. But not so much with uh, exposure on the Christian Reformation. And uh, we were only taught that uh, it was only Martin Luther who posted the 95 Thesis of, uh, you know, this argument at the Church of Wittenberg. And after that, uh, that was all the Reformation. But not so much with uh, some of the people, their lives and uh, their influence, at the same time their doctrines. But now I am happy to uh, to be given this opportunity to learn and uh, also share some few ideas about the life of uh, those uh, reformers even prior to thank you even prior to Martin Luther. Before we start, allow me to uh, invite you for a prayer. I know that uh, I'm not that very union. When you talk about some of the theological terms, hindi mm -hmm. naman yung sa madamo. No, hindi naman. Although may ligay mo nito ng Bible, that's okay. But we will not stop there. As much as possible, if possible, we could we could translate the doctrines or the writings of John Calvin, Calvin, the doctrines of uh, you know John Bass. By the way, when I was preparing my lecture, I was uh, to the point that I look for uh, 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 what you call this, a book written by John Hans, and I have now the book on Samuri, and I started to read the book. I grabe mga wala pa ako nakita na pastor ka expositor nga grabe mag explain sa scripture kag kung anong ginahambal niya fully loaded by scriptural passages and doctrine from scripture it would simply show that John Hans was a person of you know he is not what we call this design to study more about scripture kagami si grabe si kabiblikan if you want to talk to him about Simony, he has this what he will thick book on Simony and the indulgences and everything, and all of that has been expressed with all the biblical passages, uh, peppered with so many biblical passages and so many ideas about from the scriptures. Bible. Another thing about John Hass is that when he was in a, in a university, he was given a regular schedule to be a preacher at Bethlehem Chapel. And there in the Bethlehem Chapel, sila si mga scholars, sa mga historians, every Sunday, the Bethlehem Chapel is filled with more than 3,000 parishioners who, you, who wanted to listen to the preaching of John Hans. The preaching of John Hans. And I can just imagine thinking about not only of his 
you know, fully loaded ideas and writings about a certain text or a certain topic. But I can just imagine how bombastic, how powerful was the preaching of Jonas. One important proof is that there was a general, if you happen to watch the movie on Netflix, Medieval, the Medieval is all about a general named John Zesta, who was the leader of the Hussite warrior, who was the leader of the Bohemian Reformation movement. And on that particular film, it revolves around the preaching of Janus. The preaching of Janus. Where Janus practically has captured the minds, the life, the you know, the feelings of the Bohemian people. So much so, nasindito na siya, after a month of traveling from Bohemia, from Czech Republic, to the city of Constance, because he was summoned by the Pope during the time. And he was not able to return. Yeah, that's correct. He was not able to return. Uh, he was born at the state there in the Council of Constance. And when the people knew about the news, the sad news about John Mas, what they did was to revolt against Roman Catholic crusaders. By the way, when you talk about the Council of Constance, it's the very center. If you want to study history, you have to study the Council of Constance. Because in that particular council, in that particular city, there were a lot of you know, big things that had happened. Probably the, the, the crossroads of the Roman Catholic history and the crossroads of the church. In that particular council, or council of Constance, the city of Constance, uh, there were three things. One is, in that particular Council, the schism or the papal rivalry was resolved. It was not a rivalry of one pope, not two popes, but a rivalry of three popes. Three popes. And uh, by the next slide, I think there is the what we call the additional background about the particular line of John Hans. Next slide, please. Uh, no, there were three. During the time, there were three to resolve the problem of these two popes, and the Council of Pisa produced another pope, and that was to the count that uh, they what they call the uh, rivalry of three popes. But it was only in the Council of Constance, together with this, the issue of Janus, the teachings of Janus, was resolved. And so they elected Martin V as the Pope. When Martin V was elected as the Pope, what they did was to eliminate and not only eliminate but consider other popes as heretic in order for him to be powerful. So the one the Martin V, that Bohemia is the center of ref, uh, Bohemian Reformation wanted to pull the Reformation. So, Ginimo ni Martin V, he sent crusaders, thousands of crusade crusaders to Bohemia in order to foil and to destroy all the who sides movement in Bohemia. And that was the, the story of Jan Ziska. So, Jan Ziska, he organized niya, tanan nga mga uh, believers, against the Roman crusaders and all the peasants and all the, you know, mga pigado gig. And it was only the, you know, innovative, uh, mobile uh, weapon, they call it. And in mga weapon, hindi mo nila nga ito pang kitigira. Can you imagine, one is to seven crusaders, the Dahokba, among 
warriors, mga Hosai warriors. They're very popular in YouTube. You can uh, go through the YouTube, the Hosai warriors uh, headed by General Zista. And on that movie, the medieval talks about and they provide you ideas and experiences of the Hosai warriors in Bohemia. And with that, uh, that created an impact. And uh, that was the, the first Tupagablati revolution during that time in the name of God. In the name of God. So sometimes we can read it in the sinulatan ni John Wimpy and ni John Moss. Masalim ko po. Ano naman ni iba ni nga ato ni Estoriaya, Bottle for Basil? Ano lang ni Tanan? Nawa yun ni Ila Tue? Nawa yun siya? Ano yun siya? Pinatsana yun siya? That was their revolution. Very progressive revolution and reform during the time of uh, after John Huss for the Bohemian uh, reform. Let me jump into the last part. I think uh, there were three movements there. Okay, I want to see uh, there were a lot of 